Good morning, my name's Jeff Herman. I'm a silversmith in Rhode Island and we're in my workshop. I'm going to talk today about how important it is to know how to properly hold a hammer when raising, when planishing, uh, when forming, doing any kind of forming because what you don't want to end up with at the end of the day is a sore arm, a sore back, a sore neck, uh, sore shoulders and so this is going to make it much easier for you and it's going to be much more efficient uh, when you're when you're working on a piece. And so this is our Gentium vase that I've been working on. And I've got a raising hammer here. And you'll notice that when I'm raising or just using the hammer, I'm trying to keep my forearm parallel with the ground. And I'm just using my wrist action. I'm not going to be moving up on the head because that's not efficient. I need a lot of leverage and I'm going to be essentially throwing the hammer at the piece. I'm not going to be tensing up. I'm going to be holding this very, very lightly. So you'll notice when I'm raising this, how easy, how almost effortless it looks. And also keep in mind that hearing protection is really critical, even if you're doing this for just a few minutes at a time. Now, if you feel a little discomfort in the other hand and you have a sharp edge or you feel like there might be a little too much vibration or the piece is heavy, you might want to use a cushioned glove and that will help to dissipate any of the vibration and it'll make it more comfortable actually holding the edge of the, the piece you're working on. Again, you, don't, you, you want to keep a nice bent arm. You don't want to keep a straight arm so the vibration goes up your arm. So if you feel your shoulders going up, be cognizant of how you're standing and you know, keep bent legs, don't have anything stiff, and just essentially throw the hammer at the piece. I'm working on a smaller piece, in this case a baby spoon, uh, that's been down the garbage disposal. I'm gonna be reforming the bowl. Uh, you'll use the same technique as uh, what I was using standing up, but in this case sitting down. Again, throwing the hammer, keep an eye on my wrist, and I'm using only four fingers, and I'm not gripping the handle very hard. You want to move the piece over the, uh, the steel that you're working on. You don't want to have to keep moving over like this back and forth. Uh, so if you have to reposition the tool, that's better than having to constantly move your body. So that's how easy it is. It's, uh, it's nothing terribly technical. It's a matter of feeling comfortable while you're working. <laughs>